thank you all for coming here today to be part of this special occasion, especially those who have travelled down from those cold northern parts to be here. Let me take you all back to the winter of 2018, which now seems so long ago, when Craig summoned myself and Sharon from the kitchen and asked our permission to marry Emily. Who said the age of chivalry is dead? <laughs> Little did we know then how many times this wedding would be cancelled and rebooked. It seems to have taken forever for today to finally arrive. I thought I'd never get rid of her. I've known my Craig for a number of years now. In fact, as long back as their first date in Sussex, which unbeknown to any of us at the time, we were all in the cinema together, three rows apart. When the lights came up, Emily tried her best to hide, uh, but unfortunately for her, I'd already spotted him. <laughs> Since then, he moved down south, uh, and I've had the pleasure of living with him. Uh, we have had holidays and spent time together and I've actually come to quite like him. <laughs> and as Scousers or Woollybacks would say, he's boss. <laughs> he's an absolute credit to his parents and family and I generally can't think of a better person to have as a son-in-law apart from maybe a few of the Brighton players. with this ring, I promise to be true to you, to be there when you need me most. I give you my hand, my heart and my love. Craig, with this ring, I promise to be true to you, to support you and to be there when you need me most. I give you my hand, my heart and my love. It is therefore my duty, my privilege, my utmost pleasure to announce from this day forward, you are husband and wife. Yeah. Craig, would you like to kiss your bride? Absolutely. You absolutely would. <laughs>
that beauty is only one of your many attributes. You are fiercely loyal to those who are lucky enough to have you in their lives. <laughs> You're fun and a joy to be around. You're a wonderful woman and deserve a wonderful husband. And I won't rest until I find out what went wrong here today. <laughs> Seriously though, I hope Craig will be as proud to call you his wife as I am to call you my daughter. And if he loves you half as much as I do, <laughs> you'll be okay. I can't believe you're a married woman now. It only seems like yesterday you were that shy little girl at school who would only nod her head when the register was called and your friend Alex, now your maid of honour, would have to answer yes for you. At least she didn't have to say your vows for you today. You did manage to get through college without her. Luckily they don't have a register. Uh, and then to go on to start your own little business which again, I am very proud. Uh, although practicing your waxing skills was a lengthy and painful process for me. <laughs> it's my back, thank you. It's my back. <laughs> but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you perfected the technique now and your clients don't need petrol to remove the wax and paper anymore. <laughs> I'd start by congratulating Craig because you found someone so beautiful and, someone that, and also someone that makes you laugh every single day and we're both here as best men so fair play mate yeah. you've done, really outdone yourself mate really outdone yourself <laughs> On a bright and old though, what an amazing day. Two years, three weddings, and we're here. That's all it took. Yeah. And Emily, what a beautiful bride. Craig, generally could never have done any better than you. He's <laughs> lucky, I swear to God, luckiest man in the world. Thank you so much, both for letting me be a part of your day, small part of your day, but just. <laughs> <laughs> There is a Latin phrase, and it says, nil satis nisi optimum. <laughs> <laughs> that, that translates to only the best is good enough. While that does not apply to my football team, it does apply to Craig and Emily. I'd like to make the to toast this incredible woman beside me. I thought I thought for a, such a long time about what to say, and I, I'm like, I'm not the most articulate as you've just seen for the past three and a half minutes, and I don't and couldn't do anything that I thought would do you justice. But I'll try. When you hula danced into my life about seven years ago, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you 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 changed it forever. You've stood by me and supported me through the toughest times, always been there when I needed you most, and you've never been shy of putting my place either, which is probably a bit more often than you should have done. 
Uh, you've given me the best memories that I've ever had and I'll hold on to them forever. Marrying you has been the greatest honour of my life. Uh, I'm so proud of you, everything you've achieved and the woman you've become. I can't promise I won't ever annoy you or, <laughs> or be a little bit of a moody prick because it's, it's, I've got it in me. <laughs> I love you unconditionally forever. You're the love of my life. I'm so proud to be your husband. This so far has been the best day of my life and I love you. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you all for being a part of it. We gathered here today. Say happy wedding day to Emily and Craig. We all had a Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. We're about to tell you a story that you'll never forget. Met in Newcastle, out on the piss. <laughs> <laughs> a true romance that fate couldn't miss. Craig from Liverpool. <laughs> and Em's from the coast. <laughs> So to make that trip at all, entitled Their Love to a Toast. They said distance is tough, it will all end in tears. But little did they know that their love would last years. Craig food down south, made friends with the rhinos. <laughs> and Em's introduced him to us, the dance squad, the winos. Why not? <laughs> From donuts on the pier to trekking Vietnam. Then getting baby Ray and being known as dad and mum. Let's toast to their love as husband and wife. To Emily and Craig for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs>